This is The Legend of the White Buffalo Woman by Paul Goebel. The Legend of the White Buffalo Woman by Paul Goebel. The National Geographic Society out of Washington, D.C. I am going to read the author's note because it is important to understand the story. In, the most, in this most important of all Lakota and sacred legends, the Great Spirit gave the sacred calf pipe so the people could pray and commune with him. He caused a white buffalo cow calf to be changed into a woman who gave the pipe to the Sans Arcs Lakotas. It established the mystical relationship and love between the people and the buffaloes who live together in the Great Plains. Oral tradition does not tell when White Buffalo Woman gave the pipe, only that it was at a time of some great change or suffering caused by war or famine. White man's history suggests that it might have been in the late 1600s when the Lakotas were driven out of Wisconsin and Minnesota by their neighbors who had obtained guns and trade. But this may be too recent a date. With the pipe, White Buffalo Woman gave them back hope and direction and a new way to pray. The sacred calf pipe is thought of as the first pipe and every other pipe is child, blessed with its power and inviolability. There is a pipe at the center of the seven rites in every ceremony. Primarily, it, it is a person's means to be in communion with God. I have taken the legend of the gift of the sacred calf pipe and framed it in with other related myths. I have not illustrated the sacred calf pipe, of which no likeness should be made. The style of clothing illustrated is, is one which has been worn from about the 1870s, and which, with only small changes of fashion, is still worn by traditional dancers at powwows. End of the Old World Long, long ago, the Great Spirit made it rain day after day, and the water rose, covering everything. The people climbed a rocky ridge left jutting above the flood, yet even there the water followed. And then the four winds blew, and huge waves broke over the rocks, and all the people were swept away and drowned. The nation is born again. At the last moment, an immense eagle swooped out of the sky to save a young woman who was crying for help. She clutched his feet and he carried her to a faraway mountain which rose out of the water. They married and she gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. From that marriage of a woman of the earth and the eagle of the sky, people had a new beginning and in time grew to become a nation once more. Sadness of war. Many generations passed, and then the people were attacked by enemies. Their houses were burned, and they were forced to leave their homeland in the forest. They fled to the great open plains where there were no trees and where the four winds blew eternally across the circle of the world. Every family mourned relatives who had been killed. Those were sad and frightening times. White Buffalo Woman Appears Late in the spring of the year, a group of the people were wandering, strangers in the new country. They were tired and hungry, searching for the buffaloes. Early one morning, the leaders told two young men to climb a hill and look out over the country for the herds. As they came to the top, they were surprised to see a young woman climbing up toward them on the other side, carrying a bundle on her back. She was a stranger, beautiful, and also mysterious. One of the young men whispered bad thoughts, but his friend answered, No, get rid of such thoughts. She must be a holy woman. But he would not listen. And the instant he put his arms around her, 
Lightning flashed and thunder shook the hilltop and rushing clouds hid them. As the wind died, the clouds lifted and the woman was standing there alone. At her feet were the bones, which was all that was left of the foolish young man. The other was so frightened, he turned to run. Stay, she called. No harm will come to you. Tell your leader I have something important to give him. Tell him to erect a council teepee with a buffalo skull altar at the center and let everyone gather there at dawn tomorrow. Go now. He ran down to the camp as fast as he could and told what had happened. They all wondered who this woman could be. The council teepee was set up just as she had asked. Early the next morning, everyone dressed in their best clothes and gathered inside the great teepee. They were excited, yet in awe of the mysterious woman. As the sun lit up the sky, she appeared walking across the prairie toward the opening in the camp circle. Her breath was like a cloud in the cold morning air. There was quiet. No baby cried. Even the dogs feared to bark. She was singing, and though still far off, her song was clearly heard. With visible breath, I am walking. Toward this nation, I walk. And my voice is heard as I walk. With my visible breath, I am walking. With this red pipe, I walk. The beautiful woman carried a pipe. She walked to the place of honor where the leader, Buffalo standing upright, invited her to sit. He dipped braided sweet grass into a buffalo horn cup filled with water for her to sip. Sister, we are glad you have come, he said. She thanked him, and she said to everyone, Wakan Tanka, the great spirit, told my buffalo people to send me to you today. He has seen your tears. He knows you have always tried to do what is right. So he gives you this pipe. Pray with it, and you will see your prayers rise up to him with the smoke and you will know he hears you. The pipe will join nations and families together in love and peace. And so from today, your people and my Buffalo Nation will be one family. The beautiful one told them, when you fill the pipe with the spirits of all things, will help you send your prayers to the great spirit. She took a glowing chip from the fire and lit the pipe. She offered smoke to the sky and the earth and to the four winds and thanks for all the good things which they give. She handed the pipe to the person on her left and it went from hand to hand round the circle and children touched it as it passed. When the pipe had completed the circle, she leaned it against the buffalo skull. She told them, in time, all of you will have a pipe. Carry it always, and the Great Spirit will help you on your pathway through life. She said to stand, Buffalo standing upright, Look after this pipe, and it will guide your people to the end of the world. Turning to the people, she said, Pray always. Look for what is good and true. And now I have finished what I was sent to do. I will always remember you, and in time I will return. Midakia Oyasen, we are all related. She left the council teepee, stopping three times to turn and look back at them. When she had passed through the opening in the teepee circle, she turned a fourth time and sat down. And then everyone was amazed to see a white buffalo calf jump up and run off to join the buffalo herds. Until that moment, nobody had noticed that the buffaloes surrounded that camp. The wonderful woman had brought her buffalo nation with her.
the buffalo path. She is called the white buffalo woman because she changed into a white buffalo calf. Afterwards, her buffalo people gave the red stone so everyone could make pipes. It happened this way. Buffaloes made pathways as they walked from one grassland to another, this river to that, to and fro. At certain places, the great beasts loved to lie down and roll in the dust or mud to scratch their backs. At one of these walking, wallowing places, they uncovered the beautiful red stone. Waking the buffalo paths, walking the buffalo paths, people found it washed and polished by the wind and rain, a gift from the buffalo people. Blood changed to stone. Tradition tells that the red stone is the flesh and blood of the people who drowned at the end of the old world. When the waves swept them off the high ridge, they sank and the great spirit changed their bodies to stone. All these things which have been told here were born in the imagination of Wakan Tonka, the great spirit. Here are some pictures of some pipes here. We don't have the special calf pipe one. That one they can't draw in pictures. It's not supposed to be repre represented again. Okay. So kind of some interesting things on here. And that's the end of the story there. Okay.